Hi, this is Ty Hyderali. I'm a plaintiff's lawyer. We concentrate in employment law and I have offices in Montclair, New Jersey, as well as New York. I want to speak to you today about uh, back to school. So Governor Murphy has issued a, an executive order allowing for schools to reopen using uh, three different methodologies, back to school, remote, and hybrid. Uh, under a back to school analysis, uh, all teachers are back in the classroom 24 seven. Under a hybrid model, uh, teachers are allowed to teach students. Some students will come in on certain days, be taught remotely on other days, and then they rotate the schedule of different uh, grades coming in on different days. Full remote is all students all the time uh, being taught via Zoom or WebEx or some other platform. And Governor Murphy has allowed different districts to uh, pick their poison, so to speak. In Montclair, New Jersey, uh, they have decided and uh, that they will pick option three, full remote, which offers some interesting uh, benefits from an employee perspective, certain challenges from an employee perspective. So what are the benefits? The benefits of full remote for a lot of uh, teachers as employees is uh, the most important one, which is protection from exposure to COVID-19 from students, other uh, teachers, administrators, employees that they would interact with if they were in the school setting, the physical settings being in school, where they're interacting with other, um, other teachers and uh, students, etc. Uh, that's the major benefit of being full remote. What's the detriments? Well, teachers are not equipped to uh, work remotely. They didn't go to school. Uh, thinking that they would be sitting in their home teaching uh, students who were sitting in their respective homes. Uh, and this offers with it some challenges of teachers feeling very disillusioned, disgruntled, uh, some uh, having issues with stress, anxiety, etc. over the prospect of not being able to interact with their students, not to be able to have the student there to have that aha moment, which is very rewarding uh, to teachers who cherish that uh, interaction with the students, which really is to the benefit of the student as well as to the teacher. And so some teachers have reported having increased anxiety, stress, et cetera, under this new concept of teaching remotely, not to mention uh, teaching young children where there's 25 children spread out at 25 homes and you're trying to maintain uh, classroom decorum, that's certainly a challenge point. On the, uh, on, the, on the detriment side, those are some of the uh, detriments of teaching uh, remotely. Now, what should teachers do? Well, number one, uh, if they have issues surrounding uh, some mental uh, challenges of teaching remotely, uh, they need to potentially uh, consult with uh, someone who concentrates in employment law, certainly get their physicians involved, and then uh, decide what the best methodology is of engaging what's called the interactive process with their employer. So some of the uh, benefits and challenges of this new world we live in of uh, post-COVID-19. This is Ty Hyderali. Be safe and be well.